How is it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video what I've got for you is my division rivals rewards. It's Thursday, the best day of the week in my opinion, uh, and we're up at like 6.30 right now. Actually it's 10 to 7 but I've been up since like 5 just because... I'll wake up super early to get ready for these videos, but we are up early and we are ready to open rewards. Now I have mine and Jim's real estate rewards because Simon has decided this week he wants to live the exciting life and take the coins instead of the packs. Real exciting, good, great choice. Nice one, Simon. I <laughs> know, but yeah, uh, he's actually um, he's playing in qualifiers this week, so he's decided that he wants to take the coins to try and build his squad. We will be opening his foot chance rewards though, as well as mine, as well as Jim's real estates in the next video on the channel later today. And actually, if you're watching this right now, before um, actual rival awards, uh, if you're watching this around 8 a.m. UK time, don't know what that translates around the world, I'll actually be streaming live on Twitch, link in the description, twitch.tv slash it's Haber, um, and I'll be actually streaming my For Champions Rewards video. I'll be streaming me actually making the video, essentially. So if you want to check that out, you want to see rewards early, make sure you go check that out. If not, it'll be on the channel later tonight as well. Now we have a minute and 18 seconds left. We've got some pretty non-exciting rewards for this video, actually. We've got two rank three rewards. Uh, so we've got a couple of 50k packs, few 35k packs, few 15k packs, etc. But you know what? It's still going to be some decent rewards, hopefully. And uh, it's the rewards before Black Friday. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what we can get. And I'm looking forward to it. So uh, make sure you stick around. Drop a like if you are new around here. No. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. Don't forget to turn on that post notification bell to get notified every time I upload, especially over this weekend, because Black Friday is going to be a madness. I'm super excited for it. Make sure you got that bell notification turned on. Let's get into the packs in 39 seconds. I'll see you guys in a sec. Rewards are finally available. We're opening Jim's real estate rewards first because I want to save mine till last. And we're, of course, going to take the untradeable option. We've got four Jumbo Premium Gold Packs and two Mega Packs for Rank 3 in Division 5. Uh, George has just been, or Jim's real estate, has just been uh, he's been overwhelmed, basically, the last few weeks with exams. So he really couldn't play a whole lot of FIFA. Um, but he's let me open his rewards anyway, just for the content, because I just love opening packs. And I think you guys enjoy watching me open packs. So uh, let's jump straight into it nonetheless and start off with the four. 15k packs hopefully we could pack ourselves and george something decent from this now the first one is actually going to be a board drop in the first 15k pack is it going to be something decent it's going to be a german goalkeeper it's going to be horn you obviously know when it's a german goalie it's not going to be something decent you're looking for that center mid you're looking for that striker i guess i uh, can't really think of anyone else or any other position that's german that's decent so i think it's just really those two um but these are great to stack up on on players ready for black friday because we of course know there's going to be some spcs at least for black friday so all the players are you know that they're worth stacking up and worth hanging on to so it's exciting and it's great to get all the players in the club uh and that's just you know a bonus for getting div rival rewards in general so um the next one is going to be a non-board job it's actually going to be Ilicic from uh oh i know that team as well i want to say bologna but i don't think it's bologna it's um what team is it Atlanta. Damn it, that's annoying. I knew that team as well. Uh, but we did get a gold pack, a tradable one from the last pack. So hopefully there's something decent in that tradable pack. That'd be interesting. I'm actually going to open that one now. Let's see if we can get anything good in the tradable pack from the untradable rewards. That'd be quite funny if there is. There's no walkout. Board maybe? No, no board. It's going to be a rare player at least. You're only going to get one rare item. So at least it's a player. It's going to be uh, Consigli from Sassuolo. So... Uh, you know, that's, that, that's not great. But hey, if you need an 82 rated player at any point, he's got a tradable one right there. You know, swings and roundabouts, I guess. But we've got four packs remaining for George's account. Hopefully, we can get him something good from Div Rival Rewards this week. Because I think it's been a few weeks since he actually has hit a walkout. Uh, I know Simon hit Neymar last week, which was just incredible. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, I have not hit something decent, I think, since like week two or week three, I want to say. Uh, I've not hit a walkout for a good couple of weeks as well. Um, I mean, obviously, we hit one in, I think, uh, foot jumps rewards either last week or the week before that. But aside from that, we've not really hit a walkout. So, uh, you know, if we hit a walkout on my account, I'll be very excited. But we get De Rossi there for, for George on his account there. Uh, last 15k pack on George's account. Doubt we'll get anything decent. Not going to be a walkout. It's not expected, really. I was actually surprised we got two boards out of these packs because they're relatively poor. The um, 
15k packs usually are. They're usually just, you know, like rares and, and, and not great rares at that. So I was actually relatively uh, surprised that we got some decent players there. But you know what? We've had a few 81 rated non-rares, a few 82 rated rares, a couple 83 rated rares. Decent players to have over Black Friday in the club, just to have. So we have two mega packs now. First mega pack. These are the decent packs. These are actually pretty decent. I do like mega packs. The first one won't be a walkout, sadly. Uh, it's going to be a board, though. It's going to be an inform, actually. And I don't know who's non-walkout inform this week. Kamara? Kamara from LA Galaxy. In fact, I actually don't really know the team of the week relatively well at all. I know that there's Kane, Salah, Van Dijk, Pjanic, Mahrez, Sane, and Alisson, because I've just read them off this page. Also, Wijnaldum and Valencia. In terms of non-walkout, so there's non-real decent ones. I guess the best one, rating-wise, is Orban. So, uh... You know, Kamara, I guess, is okay. It's an inform, though. And one thing that's great about the informs is that the prime icon SBCs, you all we get, oh, damn, what a pack. 284s and an inform and Allen. That is a really, really solid pack, actually, to be fair. Uh, one thing I will say, though, about having the informs is that the prime icon SBCs have. Hello? I was about to say before the EA servers rudely interrupted me. Uh, the Prime Icon SPCs have a 50k pack that requires three informs and a full rare squad. It's really easy if you already have the informs untradeable. It makes it like relatively free for a tradable 50k pack. So if you ask me, they're decent to get in rival rewards. And the second pack on George's account was sadly going to be Quartes or Coates. Never know how to say that guy's name, actually. Uh, not a great pack, sadly. Disappointing. But uh, I guess there's a few rares for the club there. And a few non-rares. And a contract pack, of course, to end it off. So, George's account, again, not really anything decent. However, my account, hopefully, is going to be a little, little bit better. Because we got rank 3 in Division 3, which actually grants us better packs than George. So, uh, hopefully, we can get something good on my account. I'm excited to open them. Let's jump onto my account. Okie dokie. Now, as you can see, I am prepared for Black Friday. We've got 60,000 thief points loaded up. And the team I would like to build on Black Friday looks something like this. So, an Inform Sane or an Inform Mares would be absolutely brilliant from Foot Champs Rewards later on tonight. Or even, like, from Rival Rewards, I guess. A De Bruyne would be fantastic from Rival Rewards. A Makaleli would be incredible from Rival Rewards. Let's go ahead and open up my Rival Rewards and stop talking about them. So, here we go. We got rank 3 in Division 3, which grants us two 50k packs and two rare gold packs, 25k packs. So I'll take it. Some decent packs there. Not too shabby at all. There we go in rank 3 for Division Rivals. And we're going to go ahead and grab our packs now. And hopefully, we can actually pack ourselves something decent from these packs. I'm excited to rip them open. I've not packed something decent from Champs Rewards for a little while. Oh, sorry, from Rival Rewards for a little while. Feel like I'm due something. So hopefully, we'll open these and get something good. First pack is going to be a rare gold 25k pack. These, oh my god, we start with a walkout. Here we go, come on. We start off with a walkout. It's an inform walkout, please, someone I need. Oh, it's going to be Forest. The excitement was going there. I was really hoping we hit a Mares or a Sane there because that would genuinely would have been perfect. But an 84 rated Forest is not bad. It's an inform walkout, so we will take it. And, uh, you know, if we get a Team of the Week SBC across Black Friday, he is going to be absolutely perfect. So uh, I'm, 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 I'm happy about that. We also get a duplicate untradeable Quincy ProMed, sadly. But uh, I'll store this guy in the club. He's got decent stats, to be fair. Um, not too shabby at all. Go ahead and store that. Now, uh, Quincy, of course, is a duplicate and tradable. And, uh, and Marcelo is a duplicate tradable. So, we'll go ahead and discard him. Next rare gold pack. I was, I was going to say before I opened it that these are relatively decent to me. Like, they're usually quite good to me. So, uh, you know, we kind of proved it there with an informed walkout. Quite happy about that. Um, the next one is going to be Forsberg, though, sadly. Damn, I got my hopes up so much there. I was genuinely looking for like a German or a, 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 a Algerian flag there. And I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't see either. But I can't I can't expect either of those informs. They are the top tier informs, informs from this week. So let's jump into my two 50k packs to end off this video. And hopefully we get something decent. We're going to start off with the first rare players pack. No walkout in the first rare players pack. It's going to be a board drop though, which is decent. What's it going to be? Belgian. Centre mid. Oh, nine Golan. Let's go. Nine Golan. Oh, my word. How much does nine Golan go for? How much is nine Golan selling for? Oh, my word. 78,000 coin worth of player there. Let's go. He is fantastic. I don't even know if I can fit him into a squad, but I'm still absolutely elated. I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. That is absolutely fantastic. Anything else decent in this pack? 
Not really, but that is an amazing untradeable player to have. And if I ever choose to make a Serie A team, he's fitting straight in. So I'm very happy about that. An 80k almost worth of player there. That is absolutely brilliant. I, I'm over the moon with that. That is a fantastic player. I think my rival awards this week have been pretty decent so far. They've probably been my best rival awards yet. Let's see if we can top the icing on the cake here with our last 50k Pacquiao. Come on, make it a good one. It's not going to be a walkout, but we've just been proven that a walkout, a non-walkout doesn't mean it's the end of the world. What's it going to be? It's going to be Spanish CDM. It's going to be Javi Martinez. So an 84 rated card, not too bad. We'll take that. That's decent. It's 84 rated, of course, for any Black Friday SPCs we get, you know, over the weekend. Is it going to be anything else decent in the pack? Anything else at all? Kagawa? Oh, we get a few 83s, actually. And a Kondogbia. Kondogbia is actually really nice. Um, wow, we've actually got some really solid OP players. Uh, I already know that Forsberg and I know that Lucas Leiva in the club are uh, a duplicate and tradables. Go ahead and, uh, and, and trade these in for the tradables. Get some coins back. And uh, I guess we just uh, discard the rest. So that has actually been really, really solid for me. That's been a, a very positive rival rewards pack opening for me. And uh, I think in terms of nine Golan, the only thing I can think of is actually replacing Allen on my bench with nine Golan. I think that would be the perfect way to utilize nine Golan in my club. Because otherwise, you probably won't get used very often. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and put Nine Golan on my bench. But if you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. They are undoubtedly, I think, my best rival rewards so far. Uh, just thinking back, I haven't actually hit anything better than that in rival rewards. So that is actually fantastic for me. So I'm very happy about that. If you guys did enjoy, smash the like down below. And I'll see you lads later.